Hey there, happy Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about something that is, I don't know, it's really been showing up a lot for me, so I need to get it out, so here it is. We're talking about comfort. Comfort, let's think about that. I've been noticing lately how much of our decisions are based on comfort. Like how, how often have you heard yourself or someone else say something like, oh, I don't feel comfortable with that. Let's not, let's not do that. Or, oh, that's too uncomfortable. I can't possibly think about doing that. What happens if we really look at comfort, the concept of comfort for what it really is? It's an opinion. It's not a fact. It's another one of those things like shooting where it feels and we treat it like it's a fact, but it's really not, it's an opinion. Think about that for a minute. How do we know that comfort is an opinion and not fact? The fact that different people are comfortable with different things. So hear me when I say that. Comfort is an opinion. And what do we know about opinions? They can be changed. We can absolutely change our opinions if we want to, if we have a desire to. People change their opinions all the time when they learn new things, when we bring attention to it, if we look for different perspectives, or just simply out of desire, if we find that there's something that we don't necessarily like, but we might want to like it. If we work hard enough and change our perspectives enough, we can change our opinions about things. So what does it mean? What could it possibly mean for us if we make the choice to change our opinions about comfort. How many times has the discomfort gotten in your way of taking action towards something that you really want or need? How often has that icky feeling within you gotten in the way of taking action that you know will be good and fruitful and wonderful for you? What happens if instead of trying to avoid discomfort, what happens if we just choose to say, no, this is comfortable? What happens if we choose to establish a relationship where com with com discomfort so that we push through it anyway? What happens if we choose to take on an exercise of, of taking this energy of comfort, that's all it is, right? Because comfort is physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's all those things, right? It's, it's an energy flow. What happens if we choose to allow the discomfort to flow through us and then do the thing anyway? What happens if we really treat comfort for what it is? An opinion, not a fact. That's your question for today short and sweet. Let's just start sitting with the idea of treating comfort for what it really is. It's an opinion and it's changeable. And what happens if we stop avoiding it and we start living with it or just allowing it to flow through us? Like any other emotion, any other opinion, any other thought that we know that when we allow it to flow through in its natural pace, that we are bigger and stronger and we can make stronger decisions for ourselves. Let me know what you think. This is this this one can be a little a little little triggering, a little something. Let me know what you think of this. I'd love to start digging into this concept of comfort as an energy, as an opinion, and as something that to stop avoiding. Comfort is not our higher self talking to us. Comfort is not our intuition. Comfort is fear. And so what happens if we really start to investigate it deeper and just start doing the things that make us uncomfortable? Let me know what you think and I'll see you next week.